Hey, what is up guys? Today we are going to create a really smooth camera for a 2D game. So without further ado guys, let's get started. Alright, so let's get started. We are going to create ourselves a new script. So right click in your project, then C Sharp script, and let's just call this something like a oh, smooth camera. Of course, you can use your current camera script if you have one, but we will be starting from scratch in this very tutorial. Alright, so we're gonna start by making a really basic follow camera. So a camera that keeps looking at our target without uh, being a parent of that target. So without putting the camera inside an object, actually a child of that object. Uh, like we usually see sometimes when you simply drag and drop your camera inside of say your player and then it follows him around. We are going to recreate that behavior but without actually putting the camera inside of the player. So let's take it out and let's start scripting that. So the first step we will take is we are going to take a reference to what it is we're looking at. So let's write a public transform, look at, and this is going to be our look at object. So this could be the player, this could be another player, or this could be temporarily a item on the scene that you want to highlight. Okay, after that, we are going to create a Boolean that we'll call smooth. Do we want to smooth the camera or not? Sometimes we might want to turn this off actually, so let's create a Boolean that can control that. After that, we're going to need a float that is uh, basically going to be the smooth speed. And this has to be a value in between 0 and 1. So I'm going to be putting, say, uh, 125. One more field, this is going to be a vector3 offset. And this is going to be used to give a uh, offset from the player. So if you're looking at the player, you don't want to be putting your camera right on top of him. You might want to have a distance of, say, uh, 10 in Z so you can see your player from 10 meters away. Okay, so let's go ahead and create ourselves a new vector3. Say 0, 0, and I'm going to give myself a 6.5 uh, meter in Z offset. Right, next thing we need to do, we're actually going to start creating our update. Now, um, since we're scripting a camera that is going to depend on the position of the player, we have to make sure that this is ran second because the position of the camera is going to depend on the player's position and it has to be updated first. Now, the way we do this in Unity is um, we simply put late in front of update. So this gives you another callback that is pretty much just being called right after the update. And like that, we can make sure that the camera is being updated after because we're doing the, um, the player update first, which is a, a normal regular update and this one is the light update so we know that this is run second. Okay, now uh, inside our late update we are going to declare ourselves a vector3 that we're going to call desired position. This is the position the camera should be at when we're not smoothed. So when we are not smoothed we want the camera to be at look at dot transform dot position plus its offset. Okay, so let's take a look at that in game. Let's actually write our transform that position is equal to desired position uh, line. So this one is going to update the position of the camera right away using the desired position. So this is the behavior we should uh, have in a game where we don't have a smooth camera. So we just have a simple follow camera. Now in our smooth camera, we get to assign the look at object as well. So I'm going to put my player in there drag and drop this right inside of my player field I mean look at field and I'm gonna hit play so we got the base now we're gonna make sure that this movement is smoothed and how exactly are we going to do this we are going to first go back in our script and we're gonna say if smooth do this else do that so if we are not smooth, simply take the desired position, the one that we calculated, and put me over there. Now if we are smoothed though, we are going to say my position as a camera is going to equal vector3.loop. And we're going to make a loop in between my current position, so transform the position, and my desired position. And now we're going to give it a float that is in between 0 and 1. 
um, we decided we're going to give it the smooth speed not, not smooth camera, smooth speed and now you can understand why we needed this to be in between 0 and 1 the vector 3 dot lerp basically takes this start vector this end vector and a float in between 0 and 1 to decide where exactly are we going to position ourselves in between that so say smooth speed was exactly 0 0.5 this would be the middle point in between the two vector so they would be the, the middle point in between uh, my current position as a camera and my desired position so this is why we use this as a speed value now let's go see what it gives us in game oh and as you can see we can already tell that it's being smoothed when we jump and this looks way better so this is pretty much how you make a smooth camera it's fairly simple in 2D of course we are going to tackle this topic a little bit later on when uh, we're in a 3D environment, but right now, for our 2D game, this works just fine. Also, let's just test it out. So, say you have your main camera over here, the look at object is currently the player, but we have a script in the game. Let's just assume that we have a script in the game that is going to highlight the uh, directional light for a moment. So, let's just drag and drop this. And as you can see, the really smooth movement in between that and the player it's pretty cool so if you have any script that is going to look at an object you can simply change that value over here in the smooth camera and it's going to be just fine okay so that concludes the tutorial if you have any question or comment please use the comment section below i try to answer as much as i can um, also if you enjoyed this video or if this was helpful to you please leave it a like and please subscribe for more tutorial thanks for watching guys and i will be seeing you in the next episode